Hey, what's up guys? Mint City here back again with another video. And today we are taking a look at Chaos Lords. Now, what is Chaos Lords? This is a hero collector. Now, this is a hero shard collector specifically, more in the vein of Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes or Marvel Strike Force. Now, that may turn off a lot of you guys. Longtime viewers of my channel may remember that hero collectors, especially shard hero shard collectors, are my guilty pleasure when it comes to mobile gaming. Yes, they are pretty uh, egregious and aggressive with their monetization, but for some reason with Hero Shard Collectors, I can kind of look past that, mainly because this is a slow burn game. This is a long-term commitment game where you're not gonna be making crazy amounts of progress right up front. You're just gonna be slowly grinding, unlocking heroes, getting gear for them, equipping them, strengthening them, um, and figuring out your team synergies. Now, how does the battle system work specifically? Um, it, it kind of blends real time uh, with kind of turn-based strategy. So if you've ever played a idle game, an idle game, uh, you can usually arrange your characters in a specific formation before you battle. Now this has that exact same thing. Um, you arrange them before battle, so you kind of want to put your heavy, uh, high HP characters up front and then your squishy glass cannons in the back. This has that. Um, there is also real-time um, abilities that you can set off. There is an auto function that will set off those abilities for you, but those abilities are the only imp input in real time that a player can make. Now, there's arena, there's a story mode, there's a campaign, um, there's a map that you can grind out stages. There's a little bit of everything here. There's an endless dungeon. It really does feel like an idle game, but a little bit more interactive. It, I feel like they've completely uh, mixed the idle genre with the hero shard collector genre really well uh, at which you guys know that I liked trials of heroes back in the day and this feels like that except uh, I like the art style better it feels like magic the gathering um, inspired it's high fantasy but it's not anime inspired it's just a western um, fantasy style and it looks really good you can tell it's an indie effort but it's still very polished it's a very small game with a nice cult following the community is super friendly uh, there's a global chat within the game that you can ask questions in because there's no content for this game like none I can't find anything the reddit has like 11 members it's crazy how small this game is but it's really good I feel like it deserves more um, recognition so if you guys want to me to make a guide or something of that nature on this game for the future let me know because i am going to be playing it for quite a while i've already spent a little bit of money on the game yes uh it's my weakness i told you guys i'm usually a premium guy uh i'm all about having an upfront price tag and not greedy monetization but these are my guilty pleasures so if any of this has sounded good to you or you like what's on the stream um, please leave a like and pop a sub if you guys are new or you enjoy mobile gaming content because that's all I make on this YouTube channel. Please comment down below. You guys have been killing it with that. I love talking with you guys about your thoughts of each game I bring up. And please give me suggestions. I'm already making videos on some suggestions that you guys have made to me. But anyways, thank you so much for watching and take it easy.